Hello everyone! Today, we will study about MAPE Arts 6. This is quarter 2. Lesson number 2. Elements and Principles in Digital Art. After going through this lesson, you are expected to identify the elements and principles of arts and appreciates the elements and principles applied in digital art and appreciate your artwork. The elements of arts. Line. Line is the mark with greater length than width. The line can be horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. Straight or curved. Thick or thin. Shape. Shape is the closed line. Shapes can be geometric like squares and circles or organic like preform shapes or natural shape. Shapes are flat and can express length and width. Form. Form are three-dimensional shapes. Expressing length, width, and depth. Balls, cylinders, boxes, and pyramids are forms. Space. Space is the area between around objects. The space around objects is often negative space. Negative space have shape. Color. Color is light reflected off objects. Color has three main characteristics. One, hue, or its name, red, green, blue. Number two, value, how light or dark. Number three, intensity, how bright or dull. Texture. Texture is the surface quality that can be seen and felt. Texture can be rough or smooth, soft or hard. The principles of arts. Number one, balance. Balance is the distribution of the visual weight of objects, colors, texture, and space. Emphasis. Emphasis is part of the design that catches viewers' attention. Usually, the artist will make one area stand out by contrasting it with other areas. The area will be different in size, color, texture, shape, etc. Number three, movement. Movement is the path the viewer's eye catches through the work of art, often to focal areas. Such movement can be directed along lines, edges, shape, and color within the work of art. Number four, pattern. Pattern is the repetition of an object or symbol all over the artwork. Number five, proportion. Proportion is the feeling of unity created when all parts, sizes, amounts, or number relate well with each other. When drawing the human figure, proportion can refer to the size of the head compared to the rest of the body. Rhythm Rhythm is created when one or more elements of design are used repeatedly to create a feeling of organized movement. Rhythm creates a mood like music or dancing. Number seven, variety. Variety is use of several elements of design 
to hold the viewer's attention and to guide the viewer's eye through and around the work of art. Number eight, unity. Unity is the feeling of harmony between all parts of the artwork creating a sense of completeness. Learning task number one. Identify the elements and principles of arts by answering the crossword puzzle below in your answer sheet. Use the given clues. Let's start with down. Number one. What do you call the use of several elements of design? Number three. What do you call the area between and around objects? Number five. It can be horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. Let's answer across. Number two. What do you call a distribution of visual weight of object, color, and space? Number four, what do you call the feeling of harmony? Here are the answers. Number one, variety is the use of several elements of design. Number three, the answer is space. Number five, line. Number two, the answer is balance. And number four, unity. Learning task number two. Examine each picture if it follows the elements and principles of arts. Write your findings in your notebook. Learning task number three. Using drawing software, draw the following elements. If computer and other devices are not available, use a pen to draw the different lines and shapes in your notebook. Draw. Number one. Straight lines, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. Number two. Draw curved lines, spiral, wavy, and swirl. Number three, draw geometric shapes, circle, triangle, and square, in different sizes. Number four, you can use other devices such as tablet or a laptop with a drawing software that you are familiar with. And number five, print your work. Learning task number four. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the chosen letter on your notebook. Number one, the element of art that can be horizontal vertical or diagonal, straight or curved, thick or thin, is blank. A. Shape B. Line C. Color or D. Form Number 2. The element of art that pertains to the area between and around object is blank. A. Space B. Color C. Form or D. Texture Number 3. The element of art that shows the surface quality that can be seen and felt is called blank. A. Line B. Form C. Texture Letter D, color. Number four, the principle of art that pertains 
to the distribution of the visual weight of objects, colors, texture, and space is called blank. A. Balance B. Emphasis C. Movement Letter D. Pattern Number 5. The principle of art that is the path of the viewer's eye takes through the work of art. Often, the focal areas is called blank. A. Variety B. Unity C. Movement Letter D. Proportion Here are the answers. Number 1. The answer is B. Line Number 2. The correct answer is A. Space Number 3. The answer is letter C. Texture Number 4. A. Balance is the correct answer And number 5. The correct answer is C. Movement Complete the paragraph with the appropriate words. Write the answer in your notebook. The choices are digital, elements, technology, computer. People can create artworks with the blank. Blank art is a general term for a wide variety of artistic works and methods that use digital blank. Lines, shapes, colors, and textures are blank, common, both to traditional handmade art and modern digital art. The principles of art, rhythm, harmony, contrast, and emphasis apply even with the use of technology. Here are the answers. People can create artworks with the Computer. Digital art is a general term for a wide variety of artistic works and methods that use digital technology. Lines, shapes, colors, and textures are elements common both to traditional handmade art and modern digital art. The principles of art Rhythm, harmony, contrast, and emphasis apply even with the use of technology. Great job, everyone! Thank you for watching.